They love that shit. They love doing that shit. They love eating that shit. If I can't find the cure, I'll, I'll fix you with my love. No matter what you know, I'll, I'll fix you. Hi guys, what's up? It's me, Lady Martin, your beauty and lifestyle vlogger, and welcome back to my channel. Oh my god. Grabe, namiss ko to. Today, I want to talk about something really, really interesting for some of you, eh, for most of you, I think. Para sa mga gusto maging vloggers, marami kasi nagtatanong sa akin kung paano ako nag-start mag-vlog, paano mag-vlog, ano mga tips ko para sa mag para makapag-vlog. Ngayon, sasagutin ko lahat ng mga tanong sa akin about sa pagbablog. So, kung ikaw nanonood ka, ay gusto mo mag-start ng YouTube channel mo, or gusto maging vlogger, gusto mo ng mga tips kung paano mag-start, ano bang kailangan mong malaman, manood ka lang hanggang ang huli kasi i-bubulgar ko. Sasabihin ko lahat ng tips para makapag-start ng YouTube channel. And before anything else nga pala, I want to invite you guys to watch me perform on April 7, 2018 in Music Museum. Yes, magpa-perform ako sa Music Museum. So, kung wala naman kayong gagawin, please do watch me kung gusto niyo ako panood. So, yun guys. Without further ado, let's get this thing started. Okay, before you start, kailangan malaman nyo muna kung anong reason nyo, anong purpose nyo, bakit nyo gusto mag-vlog. Kasi lahat-lahat ng mga ginagawa natin, nagbo-boil down yun sa kung ano bang purpose mo. Why do you want to start a YouTube channel? Gusto mo bang maka-inspire ng other people? Gusto mo bang sumikat? Or gusto mo lang mag-have fun? Or gusto mo kumita ng pera? And I think lang, yung pinaka uh, ma advice ko lang is don't do this for money. Kasi um, kapag ginawa mo to para sa pera, I don't think you'll go somewhere. Kasi sa YouTube, napakahirap ng pera, lalo na sa mga starters. Ang kumakikita niyo yung mga sikat na vloggers natin, like sila Will Dasevich. Nag-start sila ng YouTube channel, not because they want to earn money, but because it is their passion. They have the passion na mag-entertain mag ng other people and to inspire other people. And yung money, dumating na, rin, dumating na lang yan. It's just like a blessing, bonus points. And you also have to decide kung bakit ka... Uh, bakit mo ginagawa itong pag-YouTube? Um, gusto mo ba siyang karirin or hobby lang? Kung gusto mo talaga karirin itong pag-vlog, you have to commit yourself to it. Like, it's not always na gusto mo mag-vlog. Hindi most of the time gusto mo yung ginagawa mo. But, when you are committed to it, kahit uh, tinatamad ka or kahit hindi mo siya trip gawin ng araw na yun, gagawin mo siya. And that's what commitment is. Don't do it for money, have passion on the things you do, and commit yourself to it. I think that's, ano eh, I think itong tatlong to, ito yung pinaka-key to have a successful YouTube channel. At hindi lang sa YouTube channel, um, sa kahit anong career goals pa yan. For my next tip, kailangan pagbubuo ka ng YouTube channel, meron kang parang niche. Like, meron kang focus topic. Kapag nagsisimula ka palang mag-YouTube, kapag bumubuo ka palang, mas maganda na, Uh, mag-focus ka muna sa isang topic. Like, kunyari, gusto mo ng beauty vlogs, uh, mahilig, mahilig ka sa makeup, mag-focus ka muna doon para, alam mo yun, ma mabuo sa isip ng mga tao kung anong klaseng vlogger ka ba, anong content ba. And then, kapag medyo may, may audience ka na, may followers ka na, doon ka na magdagdag ng mga uh, funny videos or mga vlog mo sa life. Kung pipili ka ng topic, dapat yung talagang gustong-gusto mo. Kasi kung kapag yung pinili mong topic, eh hindi mo gusto and you're just like, you're just doing it for the sake na feeling mo yun yung mas magugustuhan ng tao, eventually mawawalan ka ng content and hindi ka magpapursige na pag-aralan pa yung topic na yun. Kasi nga, first of all, hindi mo naman siya, hindi mo naman siya gusto. For my next step, ito yung quality over quantity. Ang napapansin ko lang kasi sa mga video sa YouTube, kahit gaano kaganda yung visual, kapag pangit yung audio, hindi siya papanoorin. So, important talaga na maganda yung audio mo, na naiintindihan ka. Okay din yung kahit hindi ka araw-araw nag upload ng content, pero once na nag-upload ka, eh talagang mag -e enjoy yung audience mo. Mas okay yun kesa sa araw-araw nag upload ka nga, pero hindi naman quality yung content, yung parang ano lang, mema lang. Uh, parang ano eh, pangit din yung magiging image mo sa subscribers mo. And before we upload a video, kailangan quality talaga siya. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it has to be good enough for your audience. Dito rin pumapasok yung content mo. Is it entertaining? Is it informative? Uh, anong makukuha ng audience mo? So before you upload a video, you have to like uh, think if this is worth watching. If it's not, then don't upload it. Next tip is consistency. When I say consistency, it doesn't have to be like every day. Kahit 
ano lang siya, once a week, twice a week. Pero wag natin gawin na once a month or oh, once every two months, mga ganun. Kasi makakalimutan tayo ng mga subscribers natin. Importante ang consistency kasi para alam ng audience mo kung kailan nila i-expect yung video mo. Like me, for example, I am trying my best to upload a video once a week. Though, syempre may lapses kapag sobrang nagiging busy but it's my fault and I take responsibility for it. Kasi sobrang dami lang nangyari sa life ko na hindi ako nakapag-vlog pero babawi nga ako. My next tip is probably my most favorite. It is don't fake it. Don't pretend to be someone you're not. Your audience will know if you're faking it. And babalik din sa yun kasi nobody wants to love a fake person. And dito sa YouTube kailangan maging unique ka lang. And the only way that you could be unique is just to be yourself because nobody could be yourself other than yourself. Okay, for my next step is avoid super long vlogs. Yeah. Unless that vlog is super entertaining, super informative, and your audience will get a lot from it by watching it fully. Try to make it as short as possible, pero pero swak. It's like when you're eating too much pizza. No matter how much delicious that pizza or that food is, kapag masadong marami na kakasuya, na kakasawa. Next step: don't stop learning. When you start vlogging, parang magiba na yung perception mo sa lahat ng mapapanood mo. Like, for example, you're watching a movie and you're like, ang galing ng angle, ang ganda ng sound effects mo. Pwede ko siyang i-incorporate sa, sa videos ko. Kahit sa ang material mo pa siya nakuha. It's like, you're always thinking, anong pwede kong i-improve? Anong pwede kong ilagay sa vlog? Ano yung pwede kong matutunan dito sa pinapanood ko? And like me, for example, though uh, ilang months na ako nagpa-vlog, I don't stop learning. I still watch YouTube videos and when it comes to my editing, um, kung mapapansin nyo, if you're a bit, if you're a fan of my vlogs, usually yung pag edit ko is parang edit ni Will Dasovich because he's really an inspiration of mine when it comes to vlogging. And maliban kay Will Dasovich, marami pa akong pinapanood na ibang videos, mga American videos, mga vlogs from, you know, vlogs from other countries, even sa Korea. By watching other videos and comparing your vlogs to it, you will learn a lot. Don't stop learning no matter how good you think you are now. Just like what John Cena said, he said that the moment you start to believe that you know everything is the moment you'll realize that it's the beginning of your downfall. Next tip is be creative. Hindi lang to sa, pag, sa paggawa ng content, but also sa thumbnail and sa title. Natutunan ko to kay Will Dasovich, like yung pagkiklikbait. Clickbait is not bad. You're just making the best out of what you have. No matter how good your content is, kung hindi naman maganda yung title and hindi catchy yung thumbnail, nobody will watch it. Maganda pang clickbait. Ito, ginawa ko to maraming beses na yung mga celebrities, yung mga sikat na vloggers. Basta yung mga mas sikat kesa sa'yo. So, it's not really bad as long as may paniniwala ka na maganda yung mau offer mo, maganda yung content na magagawa mo, then do it. Next step is it doesn't have to be complicated. Vlogging is not a complicated thing. Isa sa mga pinakamagandang tips siguro is make the most of what you have. Like for example, when I started vlogging, I don't have a camera. nag edit lang ako sa cellphone. Again, nung na-realize ko na oh, talagang gusto kong karir rin itong pag-vlog, dun ako bumili ng camera. And right after camera, nagka-ring light ako, bumili ako ng light. Some people think that when you start, you have to start big. Like, you have to start like an expert, but no, it doesn't go that way. You have to start small. Next tip ko is just start today. That's the best tip that I could give. Because I really believe that time is our biggest ally. So just start today. Don't think that you're not ready. Don't think na, oh, parang hindi ko pa kaya. I don't believe that. Yan. Ayan. If you really want to start vlogging, just start right now. Just start today and just don't care about what other people will think of your content or whatever. Just do it for yourself. Get a camera, get your phone. If you don't have a camera, then start talking. Start talking about something that you love. And it's just, ano eh, it's a process eh. Hindi kasi siya na parang isang beses magaling ka na agad. When I started vlogging, I wasn't really ready. I didn't have any knowledge sa vlogging. Wala akong alam kung <laughs> ano bang ginagawa ko, tama ba or hindi. But, 
the thing is, I started it. And I just didn't care about what other people will think sa ginagawa ko. One of the biggest fears of any vlogger is to put themselves out there and be judged and let the other people judge them for what they say, what they look, or just being there. We fear judgment. Pero once you overcome it, once you put yourself out there and just not giving a sh just not giving a, you know, just degapping about what other people will think. It's the first step. It yun yung pinaka first step to start vlogging. I think you just have to overcome it. Try uploading a video, just one video, and kapag nasurpass mo yun, magtutuloy-tuloy na yun. Just, you know, just do it. Just digaf. Just don't give a... Yeah. And I think yung isa sa mga reason kung bakit uh, successful yung mga successful vloggers natin sa panahon natin ngayon is because they don't focus much on the end goal. They love thinking about their goal. They love pursuing their goal, but they don't focus much on that. They focus on the process. And as I said, once you love or when you love what you do, you don't give a shit if you're eating shit. Just like what Gary B said. It doesn't matter how far you are from your goal. The only thing that matters is you're pursuing it. And you love the process. That's why I'm saying if you don't have any passion on vlogging, just don't start it at all. Because you're gonna end up just quitting. If you don't have any passion in this, why would you like continue vlogging if you're not happy? Only insane people would do that. So only those who are passionate, who are really in love on what they do, will succeed. Because no matter what hardships, yung pagdaanan nila, adversity and whatever, they're gonna surpass them all because they love that shit. They love doing that shit. They love eating that shit. And sabi ko nga nang paulit-ulit, if you love what you do, hindi ka maghahanap na excuse, but you'll find a way to do it. So if you love vlogging, just do it, pursue it, be patient, and keep going. So, ayun guys, sana marami kayo natutunan dito sa mga tips ko. And if meron pa kayong tanong, please do comment down below para naman masagot natin yan. And kapag marami kayong mga tanong pa, like, I know marami pa, like, for example, yung mga sa technicalities, what what is the camera that I'm using, paano ako nag-edit, anong gamit ko, edit yung software, anong setup ko, yun, para marami pa akong gustong i-discuss, but I think I'll just put it in another vlog. So, if you want to see a vlog on that, comment down below, and I hope you guys Click the thumbs up button if you like this video. And please do follow me on my social media accounts at eLadyMartin on Instagram and Twitter and at LadyMartinOfficial for my Facebook page. So, ayun guys. Sana marami kayo natutunan. So, ayun. So, I hope you guys like this video. Thank you guys for watching and see you on my next one.